on a lifelong search to find his mother after being abandoned in a Palmerston North phone box as a baby. Well, we received a number of emails afterwards, but there was one that really stood out. Paul Hobbs investigates. I didn't really want to let myself get too excited because, I mean, it's all, all just um, could be the stage. He was all over For it. 46 years. Maybe science will help us this time. Well, that's it. It's the all-important swab to collect that DNA. I mean, if Keith's our brother, fine, that's wonderful. Um, and it's great for him. But it kind of would break my heart to know that Mum had left him there. You see, Keith was abandoned in a Palmerston North phone box when he was just a few days old. It was 1962 and local milkman Trevor Roberts was doing his early morning rounds. He passed the Cardiff Street telephone box and heard a noise. I just want to know here. Ruth Stanaway lives in Waverley, Taranaki. She owns the Big Sun Cafe. Keith's story triggered flashbacks to a mystery in her own family. Maybe they were connected. I didn't really want anything to do with it, to be honest. Ruth reluctantly believes her mother, Betty, could also be Keith's mum. Oh, no, I was ten. I was playing cards with my cousin on the floor. There was a knock on the door. It was an elderly neighbour telling Ruth her mum had just given birth. So I ran out there and I said, excuse me, are you Keith? And he says, yes. <laughs> and what did you say? We watched your story on 2020. I said, and um, we're the people that contacted 2020. And he just sort of looked at me. Went, <laughs> yeah, so we came back in here and sat down and had a talk. And I gave him my number. And Does she look like you, do you think? Not really, I don't think. I mean, but hey... Others might see something different. Do you think he looks like it? Oh, I think he looks like my mum. Mm. Well, thanks to modern science and to the company Easy DNA, we're about to find out. All right, Keith. The swab, the moment of truth. You've got to stick this round your cheeks, under your sort of lips, and under your tongue. It all seems so quick and simple and not a bit CSI. Here we go. We had Keith's precious DNA. It was time to collect Ruth's. <laughs> <laughs> it's the all-important swab to collect that DNA. Okay. Thank you, Ruth. Let's see what the uh, scientists can tell us. Ooh. Two sets of DNA and the answers to now two family secrets are in this envelope. I post it off and now we just have to wait. A week later, Easy DNA comes back with the results. It's not good news for Keith or Ruth. There is no biological relationship. We'll just carry on. <laughs> and hopefully we can make friends with Keith because he's, he's a nice guy. Keith is philosophical. It's taken 46 years to get to this point. I didn't expect it to happen overnight. <laughs> 